Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Dana Lyons, and I'm very happy to be here with the Orca Whale Team. Uh, you know, many, if not all of us in here, uh, work many long hours to protect the orcas and the whales and the Salish Sea and some of us work full time on that as volunteers and I just wanted to say I really appreciate that. I want to thank the Orca Network for putting this on. We are so lucky to have the Orca Network here. Um, I've had the privilege of touring all over the world and the Orca Network is one of the most, one of the strongest grassroots community-based uh, groups in the world, speaking out for the environment and the whales and the and, uh, animal rights. So thank you for that. I'm going to sing a song this morning to kick things off. We have a lot of amazing speakers here today. Uh, my friend Stephanie Buffum suggested the storyline for this song. Stephanie is the executive director of the. Uh, San Juan, Friends of the San Juan Islands, and uh, she suggested I write a story from the perspective of Granny, who was the matriarch of our resident, southern resident orcas, and Granny was 104 or 105 years old when she passed away a number of years ago. But uh, the idea is the changing sound of boats that Granny experienced over her century of life from the uh, dugout Native American canoes made out of cedar to the arrival of the great sailing ships and to today's uh, super tankers and coal ships and freighters and everything else. Um, I did a tour on, and I, one of my shows I was out on Friday Harbor and Val Veers, who some of you know, uh, orca scientist, he gave a little talk and he explained that when the, when the water is silent, when there are no boats in the region, no giant boats in particular, the whales can chat with each other, you know, using their song from, for at least uh, seven or eight kilometers. So, you know, they can be quite a ways away and talking about how the fishing is or telling jokes, or I don't know what orcas talk about. But uh, when there is a large boat, even from miles away, the sound is so loud that instead of being able to talk at least seven or eight kilometers, they can maybe hear a hundred yards. So it really has an extreme effect on them. So I wrote this song, and the orcas, you know, different people will be touching on different things today, but they're facing the boat noise, which we need to deal with. They're facing the pollution of our area, which we can do a lot about. Um, we need to do the habitat restoration, which many of us are working on, which is uh, really exciting to see. Um, two of the biggest things that they're facing are uh, climate change and uh, the removal. We need to remove the Snake River dams. And the purpose of removing the lower Snake River dams in eastern Washington is to open up the salmon habitat, in, mostly in Idaho, so there will be a lot more habitat for king salmon. And uh, uh, before I sing this song, I know that sounds, that might sound like, wow, is that possible politically? Um, how could we do that? And I want to just remind you about who we are, okay? Who we are as the Pacific Northwest. Who we are as the state of Washington, the state of Oregon, st uh, the province of British Columbia, okay? What have we accomplished in the past? Can we accomplish something as big as removing those Snake River dams, okay? In the 1970s, all the politicians, Democrat and Republican, said there's gonna be a nuclear power plant on the Skagit River. All the politicians agreed. A couple of mayors and thousands of people stood up with the Magic Skagit campaign, and they beat the nuclear power plant on the Skagit River, and the Skagit River doesn't have that. That's one of our great victories. For 50 years, we fought to bring down the dams on the Elwha in the Olympic National Park. The Native Americans fought it for 100 years. The rest of us joined in about 50 years. Sometimes democracy takes a long time. Those dams are removed. When Goldman Sachs and the coal 
coal companies suggested they build six coal ports, six new coal ports in Washington, Oregon. Very few people thought we could beat them. But thousands of people came out. Thousands of people came out for rallies. And we pushed our elected officials. And Washington, Oregon defeated six coal ports. Okay, so we have a long history of, of doing this as a region. And if any region can do this, we can muster the will to take out the Snake River Dam. We can do this. Um, in terms of climate change, this is really big. But the bottom line is that climate change is killing salmon also, which the orca eat. Okay? So, it's all connected, obviously. But I believe that in the struggle to protect our beautiful Mother Earth, that certain regions of the world, certain watersheds will emerge and they will say, enough is enough. We refuse to take part in this destructive economy and we are gonna preserve our watershed. We are gonna change our rules to respect Mother Earth. I believe that some of the leading, some of the leaders in the world are here in the Pacific Northwest, in the Northeast, in New England, there's some places in Brazil, in India, different places, but we as a region can be a leader in that climate change movement. We've got a lot of strong older leaders, and I'm really happy to say that the younger leaders are coming forth big time on the climate change, and we have a younger leader here today. I'm really happy that London is here today. Thank you for being here and all your work on the porches and the whales. But hold that vision. I just want to, while we're, while we're throughout the day and throughout the song, hold that vision, okay? A few years ago, I was, or about seven years ago, I was honored to sing uh, my song Drop of Water at the removal ceremony for the Elwha River Dam. And it was, it was amazing. I, I was, it's the only show of my life I was so nervous I didn't sleep the night before. And it was, it was awesome. I was backed up by the Port Angeles High School Choir. It was just incredible. And I want you to hold this vision that someday, I don't know, might be two years, might be three years, might be 10 years, but we will all gather next to the Snake River Dam along with 10, 20, 30,000, 50,000 of our proud Pacific Northwestern neighbors. We're gonna all gather there and some elected official with a large bullhorn is gonna say, now I'm here buying officially in house. The beginning of the demolition of the Snake River Dams to restore what is right for the Native American treaties to the Orca for the Simon and for our region. And we'll see our elected officials and we'll be shocked and they'll be, they'll be clapping excitedly because they know if they're gonna win the next election, they better clap excitedly. <laughs> so hold that vision. It's gonna be a big party. London's gonna speak of that one too. And I hope to sing of that one too. So just make sure I get invited there, London. All right. <laughs> swim a thousand miles to reach the shores of emerald isles with salmon spawning by the million herring spawning by the billion gather with our pods again the summer food the summer friends to raise our babies safe and free we gather in the salish sea oh hush hear the swish of the boats on the water the hollowed out cedars the sons and the daughters the rhythm of paddles caressing the water the rhythm of paddles to come greet the orca remember the legend the myth and the story a long time ago when we witnessed 
witness to the glory with thousands and thousands of whales swimming free. The orcas come home to the great sailor sea. I hear your song for many miles, your distant thoughts, your distant smiles. Today we fish in different bays, tonight we meet again to play. Oh, hush, hear the swish of the boats on the water, the great sailing ships with the sons and the daughters, the wind and the wood as it cuts through the water, the wind and the wood sailing out to the orca. Remember the legend, the myth and the story a long time ago when we witnessed the glory with thousands and thousands of whales swimming free. The orcas come home to the great sailor sea. Ooh. One hundred times around the sun I saw the slaughter, smell the blood, the water turning blue to brown, the metal ships, the screaming sound. I cannot hear your song today, the salmon gone, the herring late, and more and more the ships do come, will anybody hear my song? Oh, hush, hear the scream of the ships on the water, the great super tankers, the coal ports, the freighters, the deafening noise overtaking the water, the deafening noise overcoming the orca. the story a long time ago when we witnessed the glory with thousands and thousands of whales swimming free the orcas come home to the great sailor sea oh hush hear the voice from both sides of the border the rallies the blockades the brave sons and daughters the people speak out for protecting the water the people are rising to come save the orca oh.